I am hanging out in studio right now with Ellen Ice from Kadena FSS for the long anticipated What's <laughs> Up Kadena segment. Ellen, how are you doing today? <laughs> I feel like I always say, like, it's such a Monday. Like, honestly, it's been a good Monday. And, you know, we might as well tell them now we've already been indulging. Shh, that's our little secret. Uh, okay, <laughs> you gotta okay. wait, you gotta wait. Okay, dang. I will, I will. But it's a it's a good Monday for very sweet reasons. For sure. That's for all sure. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> so this is yeah, this is our first show together. I'm um I'm excited. We've we've got to hang out a little bit so far. Uh kinda get to know each other. Um but for folks who don't know what What's Up Kadena is, um this is a segment Kadena FSS and AFN started about two months ago, yeah, I think, like, there. Boatman and I, maybe July, I think, yeah. So we've been doing this about two months, and the goal of the show is every week we will kind of focus on a different um, genre, if you will. Um, so this week we're going to be talking about travel and recreation, and the whole goal is that Kadena FSS is um, massive. <laughs> we have, like, 50 facilities. Um, we have so much going on all the time. And this is just a chance for us to highlight some of those things um, folks might not know about, some of our daily programs or ones that are free or just don't get as much spotlight as like, you know, Oktoberfest or yeah, Winefest or sure. something like that. So, um, so we had some fun. Yeah, we did. Last we like, week. <laughs> Kadena FSS roped me into doing yoga, my first ever Ooh. yoga practice. <laughs> I don't know how you did that to me. Um... Well, you are doing much better than me. <laughs> we can just, whenever this uh, <laughs> this podcast comes out, because What's Up Kadena is also a podcast, you all will see uh, myself and Annika. Uh, Annika looking poised. And, oh, no, uh, oh, no, no, no. Um, and me just, like, sweating and basically crying next to her. Um, <laughs> but we did try yoga together. Uh, this is part of our travel recreation segment. So, of course, Rec, we were over there at the Reisner Fitness Center. And um, what did, I mean, I haven't done a lot of yoga. What did you think Yeah, no, overall? Before that, all my prior yoga experience was just, to be honest, workout DVDs. So in sure. my own barracks room, that's all I did. Sure. So doing it with an instructor and everybody around me, it made me a little nervous. But towards the end, I was so incredibly relaxed that I, I just couldn't believe it. So it almost made me want to go back for sure. You know what's funny is actually this morning I was like, I'm going to do yoga again. Yeah. Like I'm going to do the 1130 class just like we did last mm -hmm. Monday. And I was like, it was so nice at the end of the practice. And I was just so relaxed. Um, and it's nice. You can do it over your lunch break. And they have that kind of lunch break class, uh, 1130 to 1230 almost every day at Reisner. So I say almost, their schedule changes sometimes. So I always tell people to uh, check out their monthly calendar on our website, kadenafss.com, um, just because things can change. Um, what's also awesome is that it's free, of course. I mean, who doesn't love that? So you literally just drop in, you know, get your zen on in the middle of your Monday, uh, sweat a lot, <laughs> maybe swear under your breath, I don't know, uh, and try I gotta work on that man yeah um yeah like like before I did that session I always thought okay yoga is just easier just holding yourself in a position but then I was there and like I was starting to shake and oh, I could feel the muscle fatigue I'm like okay maybe I'm out of shape <laughs> no it's yeah it's really interesting because it, it's all your own body weight and it definitely makes you work I think just uh holding yeah holding I was like Okay. I was like, can this let's, please uh, end? <laughs> let's keep flowing. Let's keep flowing. Um, but it was awesome. So I highly recommend any folks uh, to stop by the Reisner Fitness Center. And we have some other fun things as well to talk about for Reisner. So that next one, the massage discount. That's looking really good. Keeping up with a the theme of relaxation. I my know. Gosh. Seriously, can you imagine like doing yoga and then getting massage afterwards? <laughs> I would fall asleep and I wouldn't be yeah. able to go back to work. No, that, I wouldn't. That would not happen. I would be taking a personal day. That, that would not be happening. Have you ever had a massage before? I'm surprised how many people haven't. No, the only okay. massage I ever had was when I was a kid and my mom would like work on my shoulders I and I would that. have so many cables or whatever that yes. it was so painful. I'm like, mom, you got to stop. This is terrible. You know what? I will say that is my one like treat yourself. I get a monthly massage. No really? lie. That is something that I have made a priority for me because, uh, you know, you just get caught up. You get caught up in everything and work and, I don't, you know, chores after work, making dinner, whatever. Yeah. 
Um, so is it a full body massage or just yeah. like the neck? So um, so this is 10% off, off any massages. So you can choose. Uh, I would recommend like usually like an hour full body massage. Okay. Um, it's so good. It's so relaxing. So yeah, Reisner's doing this awesome discount. Um, it's the end of the fiscal year sale. Yeah, October's normally, coming up. <laughs> yeah, normally like hearing fiscal year does not make me excited. <laughs> like nothing <laughs> about that is exciting. But when you pair it with a massage discount, you know, it's pretty it good. Exciting. Um, so yeah, this is for, um, the minimum is 60 minutes for this and then it can go up to 90 minutes as well. And so, how do you go about booking that? Yeah, so just stop by um, the Reisner front desk. They actually have a pretty full staff of uh, masseuses. Mm -hmm. masseuses. Masseuses. It's just a weird word. I only know it's that because my horse had a masseuse. Okay, I didn't, see? but my horse did. So that's the only reason I okay. know that word. Annika, we need to we need to work on priorities here. <laughs> uh, so, yes, your massage discount. Make sure you stop by before the end of September. We're about halfway through, and uh, take advantage of that. Yeah, for sure. That's really, we've been talking about some yoga, some awesome relaxation <laughs> with massages. But, okay, I have to admit, I think one of my favorite parts about the gym over on Kadena is that juice bar that they have. I know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, um, my friend and I, Madison, has a show, uh, Kadena Eats, and she just released her show, I believe this week or last week, um, for the Fall Trio Smoothies. Just that name keeps me like salivating. Like oh I'm, gosh. I'm so happy. And both her and I agree that like we're like, yeah, we're gonna go to the gym like every day for like the next three months through November. And our husbands are like, yeah, are you? <laughs> yeah, for the, the juice bar. <laughs> for the smoothies, absolutely. So you wanted the apple pie, apple cinnamon. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, when I saw the description that it's supposed <laughs> to taste like an actual piece of apple pie on the first sip, I'll admit I was a little skeptical. I'm like, it can't be that good. I was in pure heaven when I, I took that first sip. Oh my gosh, I thought my my legs were going to buckle because it was just so sweet. <laughs> so I just felt good. like melting into the floor. Oh my gosh. All my senses and all the savoriness was just coming alive. That was amazing. Literally, I think the my favorite part of that one is the cinnamon. I think that's yes. like where you kind of taste like almost like the crust or like uh, kind of like the baking element of it. So yeah, up until today, I had had that. Let's see. It's only the 16th of September. So this started September 1 and I've had six apple cinnamon smoothie. Oh, I feel fine about it. Up. Listen, <laughs> there's plenty for everyone. It's running for three months. They're kind of healthy. It's fine. Um, but today I decided to try the caramel cappuccino because I love caramel. Do you say caramel or caramel? I say caramel. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> so we can still be friends. Okay, perfect. Those caramel people are weird people, I know. I man. never understood I that. Like, caramel apples. I'm like, what's your problem? Beats me. <laughs> but um, the caramel cappuccino literally tastes just like that. So if you're wanting a little kind of coffee kick, maybe at the end of your workout, highly recommend that. The other one, which here's to decide if we're really friends. Um, how do you feel about pumpkin? I am obsessed oh, with no. pumpkin. Like I could turn into pumpkin oh, myself. Like my I'm pumpkin gosh. spice, everything. I have pumpkin candles, okay, all that so kind of stuff. <laughs> this was a really great friendship. Um, it's over now. I think it was short lived. Oh, I am not one of those pumpkin people. Everyone loves, problem? like, I know, I know, I know. Everyone loves, like, pumpkin spice lattes and, like, pumpkin pie. Yes, I, that's I, me. I, I'm totally basic when it comes you to are, fall foods. I, well, you know what? You can embrace it. And next time you need to try um, the pumpkin smoothie. Okay. Everyone who loves, like, if people like pumpkin, they are obsessing over it. Oh, that it's gosh. super, super good. Um, Obviously, I haven't tried it because that's... It's not like in my you shame, know, wheelhouse. Shame. I know, but so you can do it <laughs> and you can just tell me next time because, um, yeah, not my thing. However, all of these smoothies are available through November. And again, that's apple cinnamon, caramel cappuccino, and pumpkin mix. And if you want to see um, some folks around the gym trying this, uh, Madison's video for Kadena Eats is out. It's hysterical. She's just like walking around with a tray and is like handing out like shot looking glasses <laughs> of smoothies uh, for people to try. So definitely uh, head to our Facebook page. You can catch that video and this video will be up tomorrow as well. But I think that was a lot of Reisner love.
Yeah, that was for sure. That just that made my Monday amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks so much, Perfect. Ellen, for bringing me that. Mm -hmm. So don't go anywhere, guys. We're gonna take a quick break and then jump right back into more exciting things happen over on Kadena Air Base. You're listening to the Eagle on Wave 89, serving America's best. Alright, I am back in studio now with Ellen Ice from Kadena FSS, and during that spot cart commercial break. It took a lot of willpower not to run over and drink my smoothie. So you gotta keep me focused here. I gotta stop thinking about that smoothie. Listen. Let's talk about something else. I don't know. We have this like little window and I can see mine I'm sitting so sadly on the table. And um, soon, it's okay. Soon I will get soon to enough. you. <laughs> but next, um, you were telling me you have never been bouldering before? No, unfortunately okay. not. Pretty much growing up, horseback riding was my my only thing. So like sure. climbing rocks, sure. no, yeah. I haven't done that. I feel like as like a kid, I was like a little billy goat. Like I was just like cl like okay. climbing all over everything. Um, but bouldering like in a semi-professional sense and like a climbing gem, um, I've only done once. It was a very, <laughs> um, it was a lot of a upper arm workout. Really? Yeah. So it's not just like for fun, it's actually you're getting some gains while you're out there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It is. It's kind of like we were talking about like just holding your body weight. I mm -hmm. mean, it's the same thing. So um, there's different. So bouldering is when you actually are um, free from any cables or anything. So there's just like the crash pad underneath you and then you're going up a wall that isn't super high for mm -hmm. that reason. Um, but normally they make it more difficult by like having, you know, having the wall jut out where you're like back at an angle or it's, um, so it can be very physically intense. Oh my gosh. Um, super great workout though. I, so we, we are going to go. Oh goodness. <laughs> what if I'm not up to that challenge? <laughs> Annika, you're going to do great. Come on. I already, I bullied you into yoga. I'm going to bully you you're into gonna... bouldering. Bouldering. I guess that works. Uh, yeah, that works. I like it. Um, so, Outdoor Rec is actually doing bouldering classes, uh, which Annika and I both need. So. Yep, God sign me up then. <laughs> yeah, so that'll be the 4th, 11th, 18th, and 25th of October. So, basically, once a week in October. Um, and this is for ages 12 and over. Typically, when we're talking about ODR stuff, um, it will be ages 12 and over, just so people know. Um, and this is just a couple hours in the evening, and we actually go down to a climbing gym, like in Naha. And you'll have a guide, and they'll basically explain how to do it. So it's not just That's like, good. okay, go. Not a theory like, to the wolves. No, no, no. <laughs> so they'll explain, like, the gear, um, you know, the rules, and, like, help us to be safe while you're learning. Um, some of it is, like, safe falling. You know, and trust me, the first time I did, I was like, no, I'm not letting go. I would be I'm so not paralyzed letting go. Out there. Was, um, and then finally I was like, I'll just climb back down. They were like, that's not what you're, okay, that's fine. <laughs> so uh, you're missing the point, Ella. <laughs> yeah, no, so clearly, um, yeah, I need to go. So we will go. We'll get that on the books. Um, that is coming up with Kadena Outdoor Recreation. So for any of these, uh, the stuff we talk about for ODR, you just want to stop by in person to sign up. That's the easiest way to do that. Um, ODR is located that like road behind Reisner where it's like the road that the track is on. Yeah, I would just say like behind Reisner. Okay. Mm -hmm. If enough. I say the building number, everyone's gonna be like, okay, I cool. Know. Especially yeah. me because I'm directionally challenged. <laughs> I'm like, so they won't that. know that. They don't have it memorized. <laughs> um, but the next one is actually one I was supposed to go on with uh, Luke when we were doing the show. It got weather canceled. Stink. Our trip got weather canceled yesterday. Uh, super bummer. So this is, I still have not gone on this trip. Uh, it's sea kayaking and snorkeling at Siseko Island. So I hope for the people who are signed up this weekend, I hope for their sake that it's good weather. Because I am really tired of like getting all pumped up. Like, uh, to have my weekend happen. spent getting paid to go, like, snorkel around Okinawa, and then it gets canceled. So, uh, so they do have a couple spots left open for this sea kayaking and snorkeling trip. Um, that is this Saturday, the 21st of September. Again, this is ages 12 and over. Um, it's an entire day thing, so they'll actually, like, bust you all the way up there, and then you'll put in by uh, Matabu Port. And then you'll like snorkel, you'll kayak to like a secret spot, and then you'll snorkel, and it's it's Good. this whole thing. That sounds magical. I'm I gonna try that. I just really want the weather to cooperate. Yeah, so that we can finally try that. Um, Annika and I were supposed to go on 
the sea kayaking and snorkel um, at Maida, the Blue Cave. I love yesterday. Cape Maida. That is so beautiful up there. Like I went snorkeling with my brother once, and I yeah. all, had all like the little dory fish on Finding Nemo. I'm like, this it. is insane. This is really happening to me. Yeah, I've I've dove Maida once, and it was. Um, it was amazing, but of course yesterday the weather was not amazing as everyone saw. So next time perhaps, but there are only a couple spots left available. So please stop by uh, Kanita Outdoor Recreation if you want to do the kayaking and snorkeling and then of course the bouldering as well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, speaking of beaches, that's not the <laughs> only thing, right? I mean, beaches are beautiful because uh -huh. people actually are responsible and they pick up after themselves, or at least they should. You know, at least they should. So. Humans are the worst sometimes. I'm just going to say it because I hate when I go to a gorgeous beach like Okuma because it's my favorite. If you, you'll you learn, Annika. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Okuma. Yeah. I, I love them up there. It's so beautiful. Um, yeah, so they are hosting a beach cleanup. So if you are up there this Saturday, um, if you're going up for the day or are spending the weekend up there, they're doing um, just an hour of, you know, picking up like a bag and some gloves and helping make their property more beautiful. Thank goodness you said gloves. You had me a little nervous. I'm a germaphobe <laughs> over here. So I'm thinking, oh You're my like, gosh, uh -uh. I don't want to touch people's uh -uh. refuse. Not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Nope. They will give you all the supplies. Okay. And then at the end of it, um, it's only an hour or really as long as you want to do it. You don't need to feel obligated. Um, they will have an ice cream bar set out. Boom. I'm sold. Right? Okay. Now gloves and ice cream. Okay. I can do this. <laughs> and helping mother earth. That's number one. What more could you ask? Right? I guess, yeah. What more could you ask <laughs> but for? But ice cream, though. But ice cream. Um, so the one other thing I do want to mention about Okuma, and you were like, why, like, why so soon? But Okuma's awesome, and they get booked up super quickly. Yeah. So Fright Fest, which I can't believe we're talking about, like, that like a, hey, Halloween is I next know. month, so really after is. Halloween it's going to be November, and pretty soon this year is going to be over, it, so I it. guess it's never too soon. Yes, yeah, so this is just a quick plug. Um, if you are interested in staying up at Okuma Beach for Fright Fest, which is on the 2nd of November, please book your rooms today. It fills up super fast. Um, there are going to be like family-friendly attractions, so like hay rides, kids' activities. But then there's also, supposedly, I haven't done it yet because I'm scared, uh, supposedly a really wicked haunted house like okay my first scary. haunted house was last year so i'm like on a level one like on a scale Listen, of one to ten what is this like how bad honestly i at sama's at sans are, he gives it an eight oh, at no, San no, gives no, it, no, so no. at sans our videographer he's here with us uh he gave it an eight and he's probably right because he always goes through to get pictures and videos for our marketing and um, that is why I haven't done it yet. I will say it's on my list this year. I'm going to do it. Well, I don't know. I'm glad the lights are on in the studio because I'm getting spooks just thinking about this. <laughs> Wait until you see, like, videos of last year. It's uh, it's intense. So, yeah, Fright Fest is at Akuma Beach on the 2nd of November. So, please make sure and book your rooms today. Yeah, for sure. Thank you so much, Ellen, for hanging out with this What's Up Kadena <laughs> segment. I had a total blast. And I cannot wait to make a beeline to that caramel apple pie smoothie. It's calling so. me. <laughs> Thanks so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday. And I can't wait to talk to you next week. You're listening to The Eagle on Wave 89. Coming up next, we have What Am I by Why Don't We? Why don't we?